Hi there, Velmoet here. I explain techie things to non-tech business owners and in this video I'm going to explain to you how to get the pictures from your website onto your Pinterest board. People often know how they can pin pictures from other boards onto their own boards but they are not aware that they can actually or they don't know how to get their own pictures onto Pinterest for others to share and to find them and then to click onto their blog or website of course because you want to drive traffic towards your website. So I'm going to explain how to get the pictures that are on your website onto your Pinterest so others can find them and move on to your website. Now, there's a couple of things we need to do. Of course, you need a Pinterest account, but I assume you have that already. Now, the next thing we do is that you need to install a Pinterest plugin on your WordPress website. So here is my website. And on the left hand side here, I'm on the back end, is this little button called plugins. And I'm clicking it and then clicking add new at the top here. Then on the right hand side where it says search plugins, I'm just simply typing Pinterest. And enter to see the results it's coming up with. We're going to scroll down a little until we find this one, the Pinterest pin it button. And we're going to click install now. See if it works. There we go. And then the next step is just simply to click activate here to actually make it work. Of course, that's helpful. And then it will guide us through some steps that we need to take to set this up. So we just simply click this blue button here, set up your pin it button now. And here we will find some general settings. So the first one, the button type, is that you can have people, if they want to pin something, just select any image. But I'm going to go with the second setting because I want, for example, for my blog post, I want them to pin the first picture that you know, the, the first one from the top, uh, because that's probably going to be the most important picture um, on my blog post. Now, if you have blog posts with interesting um, graphics or um, infographics, for example, it might be helpful to choose the other option. This is just entirely up to you. Now, I choose not to show the number of times my, um, my pictures have been uh, shared on Pinterest, but you can choose to select that here. Um, the button size, small or large, the shape, rectangular or circular, and you can choose the color gray, red or white. So I'm just leaving them at the basic settings. And I also select save your settings when uninstalling this plugin. That can be helpful. It's not super necessary, but you know, it doesn't hurt to, to click it. Then I click save changes. And basically we're done with this part here. Now what we do, we go to my website. So here is my um, my name and I click visit site. And the image that I want to pin to Pinterest is on my blog. So I'm clicking on my blog here on the right top side. And this is the blog overview. So here's links to the different blog posts that I have out. And I'm gonna click on this one, for example. And I would like to pin this specific picture to my Pinterest board. Now I'm hovering over it and as you see the pin it button appears there, right? So as soon as I go over it, it appears here. Now this one's a little tricky because it also tends to disappear as soon as I want to click it. So let's see if I can, <laughs> if I can catch it. It's not really. Come on. Wait, let's try. Oh no, there's no other picture in this one. Come on. There we go. So sometimes you have to wiggle around a little before it works. Now we have this picture here and I can just change the text because this is just, you know, the, the code of the picture. Um, if you have a title set to your picture inside your media library inside WordPress, sometimes it's able to pull that name and show it here. Sometimes it doesn't work. So, and if that sounds way too tacky, don't worry about it. Just delete this text here and make it something interesting. So I'm just going to say thumbs up for explaining tech to non-tech business owners. And I'm choosing the board that I want to add this picture to. So I'm in this case just choosing my brand mood board. I click pin it. And we will get this pop up and I'm just clicking see it now. So it will open Pinterest. It should open Pinterest. It's not working. That always happens when you do a demo, doesn't it? So I'm just going to go to my page again 
it was on the my brand mood board where I posted it so we're just gonna see if it's here now ta-da there we go and if you now click on this pin as anyone else could do and you click visit people will actually end up on your website on that page where you pinned the picture from so this is the way to pin your pictures from your blog and from your website to your Pinterest boards so that others can find them, share them, pin them to their boards. And then, of course, if they're curious, you can lead them onto your website. And that's, that's, of course, what you want with your business, right? Now, I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I'm here to help, so feel free to reach out. Thank you for watching. Bye.